Um, back up. Are we? Yeah, we're back. We're back. Uh, welcome back. Sorry. I need to move quickly. I would agree with that because you're in the circle, the circle of light. So that tasty radiant damage. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I can move that way. Okay. And that's where I'm gonna go to. Let me command your doge. To do anything? Oh yeah, he's gonna move with me. Okay. He can move like way faster. Than yeah, you. but he's gonna kind of stick with me. Uh, he's gonna put himself between my, me and Rand because I know Rand's all crazy shit right now. Speed is like awesome. Yeah, he has a high speed, but he's almost always going to be right next to me. Cool. Um, the... We're using Winter Wolf stats, by the way. Cool. For rocket ships. Um, speed is 50 for Mr. Wolfie Wolf. Nice. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yeah. Uh, can I do an understanding of... Or do I think that blight would affect this big thing? Roll them the arcanas. Arcana check. Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yep. Sweet. Twelve. Or twelve. <laughs> I rolled an eight and a six, so the six counts as twelve. The six counts as twelve? Because it's a plus, plus six. Uh, fourteen. It was 12 or 14, but you gave me disadvantage, so it's 12. What is it? Got it. 12. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you are not 100% sure. You think that it would probably do something, but you don't really know. I don't really know. Well, cast Blight. Fair. On the big guy. Con, I'm guessing, right? I think so. Uh, right. Just had it up. Cool. And that purple yo is still just chilling there, right? Oh, I walked up next to him, I guess. Yeah. I he is... That. We're kind of focused on Big Yo, though. He is in awe cool. of what's going on. He's kind of stopped attacking. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> He's just I'm like, cool. I'm, I'm in over I'm my head. Ah, never mind. That sucks. Yeah. So, Blight is 8d8, right I believe. There it is, yeah. It is 8d8, unless you cast but it at a higher if level. If he's a plant yep. creature or a magical plant, he has disadvantage. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like celestial construct. I'm going to borrow two d8s from you, Jesse. Give them back. Never. I think oh, I did. <laughs> Where's pencil? No. There's a whole thing of pencil right there. Yeah, but it's over there. I'm toss him one. Toss him a pencil. Dave. Oh. <laughs> toss him a pencil. Doesn't matter which one. <laughs> You're just so in a world. Sorry, I was focusing over you. Yeah. <laughs> focusing on your not your turn. In a world. Yes. This is not his own. 30. Where Ram is mad at everyone. <laughs> 41 points of light this necrotic. 41. Rob Rob that's, that's without. Rob Schneider. Yeah, got it. 41. That is the total <laughs> I rolled. Got it, got it. And fucker has high constitution, so fuck him. Well, I rolled a natural 19. That's what I mean by high constitution. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Nicely done, though. Um, you see, because Blight's necrotic energy, and yeah. which is in the, in the Artec realm. Kind the of a, opposite? A black. Yeah. And like It's the opposite it, color. It, it starts to spread a little bit, and then like the white radiantness just, just vanishes it. Vanishes it. It did have an effect. I did see an effect. That's what good. Effect? The blight. blight. Necrotic blight. damage. Uh, Ram, the closest thing to you is his wolf. True story. Also, can I use my movement to make like a check to try to get out from under the rubble? Or is it too much rubble here? Uh, it's a great question. Give me I, I an athletics. Oh, athletics. That I might be able to do. Check with disadvantage. Maybe not. 
That's an 18. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Ah! The 18 is the disadvantage. The other wow. one's the natural 20. <laughs> Alright. But the 18 plus uh, athletics plus 5. 20 Not acrobatics. Yeah. No, I know. I, and my athletics is 5. How? Because I have, uh, I'm proficient in it and I get plus 1 strength, so that's 4 plus 5. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Rand is surprisingly proficient in athletics. I think that's the first time you've ever rolled that. It skill. is. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're able to through through your rage. Yeah, uh, I just shove myself out shove, from underneath there, like, like shove barely the, wiggle out the the debris away. Now that's unfortunately that's going to take all of your movement. All the okay. Well, uh, still I have my attack. Uh, but cancel attack. Yo. With his rage thing, does he know that that thing tried to kill Bark? Not from where he is, no. Because that would take over the rage. Bark, Bark by the way. We're Bark have... hasn't really even, like, Bark's seen gonna... what's going on. He's Bark's been chilling this out of his league. <laughs> yeah, he's hiding. Yeah. Um, but I'm... And then I swing my rapier at... All right. Now that, because you're prone, I still get is made with disadvantage. Yes. Yeah. Does now? Uh, actually, I'm not gonna ask. You're swinging my my wolf. Uh, yeah, he has right. to. I'm angry. I know he has to. Well, wow. Well, with disadvantage. That's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope. Actually, that's not even twelve. That's an eleven. That's a miss. that's yeah. a more nope. Okay, so yes, I I get no hit, and my turn. Very good. Well, not so, but you know. Uh, yeah. Soren. <clears throat> Your turn, sir. I'm going to shoot it in the head. Okay. Go <clears throat> figure. With advantage because there's you know, sneak attack in there as well, right? You would get sneak attack, but not not advantage on this? Uh you're not no. flanking. No, he's he's grabbed. I wouldn't okay. worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, That's you're not fine. flanking. Eh, you're on his flank. Yeah. 23 enough? Hmm? 23 enough? 23 is going to be enough. No, me. Sorry. Sorry, bro. I really Re haven't moved from that spot for a while. Reposition. You haven't. You haven't had to. I feel like I'm going to have to soon. I would say that that's probably a true statement. <clears throat> 38. Well, considering one of the people with a liability mm -hmm. right 38. now. 38. On the first shot. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Did your marksman again? Sure, why not? Sweet. That's 20. 20. Wow. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. That's 30 guaranteed damage. That's awesome. Uh, Natty 20. Assuredly Poke. Did. <laughs> 51. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, now, you're going for, for headshots on both from that angle. Okay. Yeah. So you see, when you shoot it, you see the arrows, you know, enter kind of around the base of the neck. And then it comes out of its head. And you can see the arrows like dissolve as they're they're leaving from from the crazy magic. But you know, a lot of a lot of craziness right there. Zera is held. Oh. Mm-hmm. So should I should just swing at him. Probably. So, yeah. attack! Wait, oh wait, no, I can do something much, much more better. I want a misty step. I need that box again, okay? 
just the fuck out of there. You can certainly try. Just the fuck out oh, of there. Oh, yeah. Misty stuff doesn't just happen? It's a, you have to cast it. It's a yeah, second level. Does it have any uh, somatic components? Well, you have control your hand, so you can do that. You know, Misty stuff lets me get free. It's one of those. It's like four. Unless there's something else. You don't know what this thing can do. Briefly surrounded by silvery mm -hmm. mist. Teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied space that I can see. It happens instantaneously. As a bonus action. Alright, so you're going to use Misty Step. And teleport down by his foot and, and fucking swing. Teleport. Not quite. How high up is he? Well, <laughs> I, well I should swing and then Misty Step because like, it's my bonus action. So. Uh, he's probably. Then I can go like straight down. I realize that. So I'm gonna swing and misty step. Okay, so swing. Fifteen plus ten is twenty-five. Yep. The green one is necrotic. Okay. Six necrotic plus ten wow, slashy dude, damage. Five, five, five. That's awesome. What about your strength bonus? Oh, plus five is what's written on. Them. His, uh, oh, and it's bludgeoning. He uses a club. Yeah. But, uh. Yep. So that's a total of 21. Because uh, he gets plus yep. 5 for his strength. Yep. Woo! That's pretty dope. Got it. Alright. the math right. So, <laughs> sorry. And then you go to Misty Step. Now, something weird happens when you Misty Step. The, uh, the architect that's coming from this guy kind of is interference. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna take nine points of damage. And he appears in an area of light Oh, nice. That's not good. No, you're in his grundle. You're in his grundle. He said nine points. Nine points of... Uh, we'll say there's radiant damage in this case. And... You find... Like, Zara finds himself in... In a closed... Like, entirely white space. Uh, kind of like the hyperbolic time chamber. Almost yep. like it, like you just can't. You just can't. There's no see depth it. perception. Plain of white, and that's and it. Yeah. What does the floor below me feel like? Um, the floor below is. I'm saying. I'm stop saying. I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, it's it's. Um, when he kind of like tries to to step, it's kind of squishy and weird. It feels really strange. Mm -hmm. Um. But you can feel I don't like remember any of the, the heat of this radiant energy like surrounding me, surrounding you. <laughs> yeah. And give me a perception check. He has terrible perception. <laughs> um, it's seven. <laughs> That's what okay. I rolled. Got he it. Is not perceptive in this particular moment. Got it. Got it. All right. Um, Kyrie. Mm. Kyron. So uh, you see him attack the arm, and you see what appears to be the Misty Step spell, mm -hmm. like because you've seen him phase before, but you don't see where he went. Okay. No idea where he went. Well, <laughs> that's bad. But. I'm in the business of taking out liabilities here. So... Are you going to attack Rand? I'm not attacking Rand. He has two hit points left. He's pretty rough. He is. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Like, I've got, like, a broken collarbone over here or some shit like that. I think I have a broken leg. Um... So, what I'm going to do... That's for one... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of him real quick. Plus, but I am gonna try to do something interesting. I'm gonna okay. cast sleep at the second ah. level. 
Okay. This New year minimum is like five, isn't it? Five. At second level. sleep on him. Yeah. Okay. Well, the sleep has a 30-foot radius. Uh -oh. No, 20-foot radius from where I cast it. Okay. And it goes from high... Uh, it, got it. Like, All right, I got you. Does the targeting go from high set points down? E, typically... Well, like, you can choose where you spend the hit points. Okay. Yeah. So, like, it's not... So I'm gonna sp yeah, I'm definitely going to spend two to take you down. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the rest on Hi. the big guy. So, so Rand goes to sleep? More than likely, yes. Bad, Considering I cannot roll yeah, anything can't roll less, less than, than a two. seven. Which yeah. Because yeah. I'm still casting at a second level and it adds two more D8s. All right. Not that's good. A, that's a good. three. That's a three. That's a three. That's an eight. That's a six. That's a five. That's a two. There's a two there. Yeah. Take it away. True. So you're asleep. Yeah. Now Ray, right uh, after he's thrashing uh, down there, he just kind of three, nods. six, nine, fifteen, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. He's big okay. guy. If he had less than twenty-eight damage, he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's certainly not so. asleep. <laughs> uh, but you can put this guy to sleep. Yeah, we still have a little cultist here. Yeah, yeah, put the cultist to sleep. Alright. He just like falls over. He's just been kind of staring at him, <laughs> fighting around You him. see him just kind of fall over. So. Yep. so Rand is asleep. That's and awesome. the cultist is asleep. Awesome. Um, it's their turn. Zara is going to take... Oh gosh. Uh... 17 points of radiant damage. Jesus. It's a boss. <laughs> I know, but still, goddamn. Um, I'm not even doing anything. It's going to try to grab. Actually, alright. It's going to pick up. Sorry, I keep knocking over Kyron. It's going to pick up the cultist and just swallow him. Oh, no, I'm not. Does he go to the same place? Uh, actually, surprisingly, yes. So you see this cultist that's this, asleep yeah. fall down on me. <laughs> Z Zara, in the infinite space, in, in the seemingly infinite space here, um, sees the cultist like spawn Great. right there, asleep, Great. and then it's like consumed by radiant energy because it didn't have that many hit points left. Yeah, um, just completely consumed. The other one is going to try to grab at... Uh, Leaves, I guess. God damn it. That's gonna hit. And I can't dexterity saving throw out of it. No. That's shit. So this guy's a hand? Yes. Yeah, the hand right there. Well, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which hand. Is the latest in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> uh, twelve bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shit. I'm doing good tonight. Soren. I'm having, I'm having fun, guys. That's a mess. That's a mess. So he, he tries to like stomp on you. No, and no. you're just dodging. No, no, no. <laughs> Get. Get away. Yeah, I didn't roll too well on that. Now. Stop it. Leave me alone right now. That's it. It's like, well, uh, the light sphere thing, the light co column, I guess, it's going to move up a little bit. So give me a, a, a dexterity throw again. It's going to move just enough to kind of like it. And encapsulate you. Yeah. 17. Okay, cool. Got it. You cannot hit me, sir. And evasion, so you don't take any damage there. I won't have to worry about that. Next is, in fact, Leas. Leas! Yeah. Can I use Bigby's hand to, like, try and get me out of there? Uh, it's, it's, you know what? It's pretty fucking strong. Okay. And I bet I, the hand is of a similar I will, size. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, was that just a strength <laughs> check? Give me a different roll. 
be a strength check? Yes. He's made chain to I cup the bowl. Dude, if you're, if you're right. level 13, that's what I got. I got, I got what I rolled. I've used that. Actually, yeah, take all the balls. Okay. <laughs> to my strength. Baby, his strength is 26, which means his modifier is plus 8. That's right. Uh, so, yeah. That's a good old modifier right there. That is. <laughs> 13 plus 8. That is, is going to be enough. Because I rolled 21. 10. And yeah. then, can I, like, hang, hang on to Bigby's hand, or am I going to just fall? You're gonna fall. Okay. Then a dexterity saving throw to make sure I don't go prone, or am I good? I will allow acrobatics. I'd rather do a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> of course but... you would. It's not a saving throw, though, it's a skill check. Okay. Twelve. No. Um, how are we on time, by the way? Five minutes. Okay, cool. Now, that was only... Let's do six in fifth edition, actually. They've changed that. They've actually kind of nerfed falling damage, which is good. Uh, unless I roll really high. It happens a lot. Uh, so that's going to be ten. With big bosses. Ten bludgeoning ten falls. And am I prone? You are indeed prone. Fuck. So stand me back up. That's half my movement. And then 15 more feet towards the Artec thing. Oh. Uh, I, I don't have... I have to go for that. Oh. Yeah. Somebody. 5, 10, 15. Somebody. Do it. There we go. Uh, and then I want to use my actual spell action. Okay. Two. Cast. Something. Wish. Uh... Non, non spell I have actually. Wish. <laughs> That's a ninth level spell. Yeah, I know. It used to cost fifty thousand experience points to cast it. I haven't even looked it up in this edition. Is it's it just a, does it not? Uh, uh, XP it doesn't cost XP anymore, but it costs like a shit ton of money. Well, yeah. I think probably like a gem worth at least this. Blah 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 or whatever. I I'm gonna cast something? blight on him again. Okay. Let's see what he does. What's your reaction? Oh, you failed it. I did fail it. I'm gonna borrow these two again. But I got a, I got a boss legendary action it up, so I can auto succeed. <laughs> oh fuck. I see some ones. I see three ones, god damn it. Oh uh, uh, uh. so there's three ones. <laughs> anyway. What are you laughing over there? You're asleep. That's, that's the count. That's count one count. No. This. How long does sleep last? Six. No. Minutes. Until damage? I, maybe. Yes. Until I'm damaged, or I think it's, I don't know, like an hour? Something. Something, something. Long enough that if nothing smacks me, I'm no, out. No. Um, Six. Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points. Uh, so actually, would have hit you first anyway. Yeah, I had it backwards. Um, 33. 33. If you take damage or somebody uses an action to shake or slap, you awake. Okay. A creature yeah. hit point. Sweet. Undead and creature. So again, you hit it with um, light. And by the way, uh, Zara. Yeah. You can see whenever the blight hits. Mm hmm. There is a section of this emptiness that turns of, dark. That turns black, at, like briefly. And then yeah. Again. I just want to point out real quick that the way this these figures are standing, my guy is just, is just standing there like, "Come at me, bro." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up? I got a little dagger. Ha! Ah! Give me time. Misty step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only that apparently. Yeah. Uh, Only when he's holding you. Maybe. All right, so that is that was Leas, right? Okay. Next is Rand, who is unconscious. Good. <laughs> uh, well, good for you guys. Soren. I mean, if he wakes up, he's no longer enraged. That's true. Unless, you know, he's damaged to wake up. Yeah, so, although, damaged to wake he's up. damaged, he's he's actually dying. At that point. Before we so. go, we're at time. We okay. Ten seconds left. Got it. Well, so, we will we I'll will wait. be right back, huh? Oh wait. Yeah. Later!